This is a short video that uh, explains how to use the Pay Now with Polly button link and form functionality. I'll start with an example of how a merchant might use this technology on a, uh, on a website. So we've got three mobile phones and we've associated a, a Pay Now with uh, Polly button with each of those. So if I'm interested in buying this phone here, I click on this button and I'm straight away presented with a payment form um, that has the logo of the merchant, a description of their company, a uh, description of the item that I'm purchasing, and the amount. Uh, so this uh, form is filled in by the consumer, and then uh, they proceed with the payment. So the first step to creating a pay now with Polly button link or form is to log on to the Merco Merchant Services portal. So in this area of the portal, I can describe a product, I'll call it a widget, and I'll give it a price of $85. So if I hit the Create button, it creates an entry in here alongside all of the other button, link, and form that I have created. I can uh, click this button and edit it, so I can give it a new name, or I could give it a different price. Uh, typically what I'm going to do is click this button here, in which case um, I can uh, copy the link code, the button code, or the, uh, the form code. So a link, this link here would typically be copied out of here and pasted into an email and sent to somebody. And there's a button code, uh, so if, if we were to take that code, copy it, paste it into a CMS, it's going to appear on a, on a web page as a button, as shown before. And the form code, again, if I copy that, this out of here into my CS, CMS, it's going to create a very simple form uh, that looks a little bit like this. Okay, and of course that code could be modified uh, to look better with the style of your website uh, if required. The Pay Now with Poly uh, button link and form product has the ability to create either a fixed or a variable payment amount. So you'll see this uh, item here, there is no payment amount, uh, and with this one there is. So what that means is when the payer lands on the payment form, uh, in the example where there is no price specified, they are prompted to, to enter the amount that they're willing to pay. Uh, in contrast, if we look at this one here, the amount is fixed. So everything that I've shown you up to this point has been using just the standard default settings that come with the product when your account is set up. To customise uh, settings to meet your needs, uh, we'll just go through the change settings area. First thing you can change is the about you text. So whatever you put in here is going to appear to your customer when they make a payment up in the top right corner here. The home page web address um, is where your customer will be redirected after the payment. Uh, it can be your home page, it can be any website URL. The successful payment message is displayed again to your customer at the end of a transaction. So after they've made the poly payment, they're going to land on this page, it'll have your logo, your text, and you can customise this piece of it here by entering text in here. Now, extra fields, there's four extra fields that you can display to your customer. Uh, you may have data that you require to collect from them during the payment. Um, so for an example, I could say um, um, membership number, and maybe, uh, maybe that's required. We'll make that mandatory, and date of birth. And I'll leave that as non-mandatory. So if I save those changes, um, one thing to note is that the changes you make to, in terms of extra fields are going to be applied to all button links and forms that you previously have created and any new ones. So it's not a per link change, you've made a global change across the board. So if I now um, view this button that I previously um, created, you'll notice that it's got the, 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 uh, the three standard fields. Um, in fact, it's got four standard fields because it's a variable payment. And it's also got a mandatory membership number and a date of birth field as well. That concludes this video on poly uh, button links and forms. If you're already a poly merchant and you'd like to use this product, you can just let us know. Um, otherwise, visit our website, uh, go into the merchants area, and apply for a poly merchant account.